Hello YouTube. A lot of you are probably familiar with my daily uh, YouTube videos on my trading and the U.S. stock market. We had such an extraordinary day yesterday that I decided to start making uh, some additional videos that don't become outdated the day after uh, I make them. And because we had such an extraordinary day yesterday, I decided uh, to make my first video on the anatomy of the stock market crash of August 2015. Uh, that, of course, took place yesterday on the 24th of August, Monday. But I... Um, I really want to talk about what happened yesterday because it was the most extraordinary day, I think, in all the history of the, of the stock market. And it's very important and it also uh, opens up a lot of genuine investment opportunities uh, for people. And I, my opinions are always minority opinions. This isn't what you're going to hear um, in, in, in the standard, usual stock market press, so to speak. But, but I've been trading for 25 some years and I almost always made money. And I think the reason for this is because I have always been willing to uh, go with minority opinions. Anyway, what we're looking at here is, is yesterday's action on the 24th of August 2015. This basically goes back to Thursday uh, of last week. We had it was like a 350 point drop, something like that. And here we have another uh, 350 point drop or so on Friday. And then this is Monday. This is the big important one. And this is today, which is Tuesday, where the, the Dow is actually up around 300 points. Now, if you look at this chart and you're just looking at this, well, this is just another market chart. This is so much more than just another chart. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And here on the open, on Monday, this first line that we see, that first thing constitutes a drop in the Dow Jones Industrial Average of 1,100 points. And that drop took place in approximately 10 minutes time, people. Just to put that into perspective, that drop evaporated worldwide over three trillion dollars of investor funds. Unbelievable. Actually, I think it was more than that. And I'll explain to you uh, why I think that in just a second. But this is absolutely extraordinary. Nothing has ever happened like this in the entire history of the stock market. This drop in terms of its depth and, and its speed uh, exceeds even the flash crash of May 2010. And as I have said before, this makes the crash of 1929 look like a cakewalk. But by the way, there is a significant difference between this and 1929 in that it goes down and within less about five minutes time it's actually recovered about half of that drop. Then it goes up here and when it gets up here the Dow's only down 150 points. It does come back and does close up I think it closed about negative 500 and something. But this morning, the next day, it's come back uh, about 300 points. 
And so really where it's trading right now isn't that far off of where this drop started with. So this is an extraordinary down and up kind of move. Okay. Investors lost three trillion dollars on this less than ten minutes on the open yesterday. There was another type of investor that was losing their shirt too. And that is the short sellers. I'm going to tell you that if you look on the internet, it is just absolutely amazing to me. There are more people that are talking about the end of the world. And oftentimes this is reflected in the stock market and these kinds of moves that we're seeing here, or this specific move. And they're saying that, you know, we're going to see uh, the value of the dollar drop to zero. We're going to go to our bank and stick our ATM cards in, in the ATM machine. Nothing's going to come out. There's going to be no money and no services. Uh, the lights are going out. And uh, <laughs> if we may all die. I mean, that is really, you see this over and over and over again. There's nobody that's talking very optimistic. And I would like to turn this around a little and put this in perspective. Look, this is a big sell-off. It's a record-breaking sell-off and everything else. But this is a correction in a bull market and nothing more. It's a good correction. Uh, fortunately, I think it's very fortunate that it actually took place in just a few days, really. Uh, and, and this is great. But I think it's all over with. And we're going to see the resumption of a bull mo mo a <laughs> a resumption of the bull market now. And one reason I say this is that if you've been following me at all, I often talk about bull spikes. And bull spikes are when you get a huge sell-off right at the beginning of the day, followed by buying. It's exactly what we have here. But this is the granddaddy of all bull spikes. Nothing we've ever seen before as like this. And what this thing here is, it takes out all the weak hands, all the nervous Nellies, all the Frady cats and everything sell out on this. And that this this bull spike is propelled by that selling. But once we get those guys out of the way, this this gives us enormous buying opportunities. And this I believe Honestly, I believe that this, that the prices here are not going to go back down below the bottom of this huge bull spike. This is the bottom, folks. And that's one reason I'm making the, this video is because I believe there are tremendous buying opportunities down here. And uh, so many people are frightened of this uh, market right now. And I don't think they should be. I think we're not going to see prices this low for a long time to come. And if we all look back at this three months from now, you're going to think, wow, should have bought down there because this looks really good to me. And I think that's essentially why I'm making this video, is I want to say that this is one of the most extraordinary move, or perhaps the most extraordinary move we've ever seen in the stock market, but it's actually the healthiest thing that could have happened for our uh, bull market that's been going on, I don't know, three, four, five years now, uh, because it's really shaken uh, the weak hands out of this uh, market, which also destroyed <laughs> <laughs> the short sellers. People are going to worry about short sell, short, shorting this market after uh, this day we had today. Uh, short sellers were jumping in here and selling this thing, thinking this is the end of the world, the sky is going to fall, and they were literally wiped out 
with, you know, within minutes, within hours, if not minutes. I mean, they're out of here too. This thing destroyed bulls and it destroyed bears also. But I think what we now have is a much more stable uh, stock market that's going to resume a very uh, strong trend up. And uh, I am looking forward to um, really good profits again for uh, some time to come. And I think nothing could have been better than uh, this correction. But I, again, I want to repeat, I don't think we're going to come back down and take out those lows. And uh, I, I hope you'll visit my website. Uh, my website is www.shorttermstocktrading.com. There's a couple hyphens in there. I'll leave the address uh, below this video. You can click it and go there. Uh, it's a pretty exciting site because I do live trading every day. I trade my own money. I trade managed money. And uh, I post the results on that website every single day, you know, win, lose, or draw. And I put a video there. So if you're interested in the stock market, you know, check this out. This, this makes for some good daily watching in terms of where the stock market is going. I hope you take my advice to, to heart. I think this is good advice. And it could lead you to some good profits. Hey, have a great day, have a great week, have a great month. We're going to make some money.